Shuttle Columbia is primed and ready at launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The clock is ticking. Let's go down now and take a look. Columbia sits on the pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, no real problems this morning. They had a minor glitch very early. They are now uh, retracting the gaseous oxygen vent hood. This is uh, a good sign. This means that uh, it, everything is uh, on the move. Two minutes, the flight crew will be two minutes and 12 the seconds and counting. CNN's John Zarella joins yeah, us now. Uh, John, it looks like uh, the clock's not going to stop. No, Tom, and it uh, looks like the little thin layer of clouds that uh, are over the launch pad right now will be no problem at all. The shuttle will punch right through that, and then it's clear blue uh, all the way as far as we can see from here. Now down below uh, the two-minute mark and counting, as you mentioned, no problems at all. A very clean, clean countdown up to this point, and uh, hopefully for NASA it will continue that way, Tom. Bob Seek said this morning, look like today's the day, tell Columbia to go get them. Yesterday he wasn't uh, saying anything like that. He was very worried about uh, counting down because of the weather situation. No weather constraints today. It is the beginning of uh, what is going to be one of the longer missions in shuttle history. Ten days. Only one mission went longer. That was back in November of 83. It went ten hours longer than this one. The weather conditions at the uh, transatlantic abort site in Ben-Gurion are very, very good. Uh, there are some minor clouds at the uh, Space Center, but uh, it looks like not a serious problem weather-wise, and the clock continues to tick down to uh, on time liftoff of 735. One minute and counting. Down under one minute. Now, if they launch on time at 35, they will link up with the long duration exposure facility, which is now in its orbit of 32,372 times around the Earth since it was launched, and uh, they will link up with that on Friday. T minus so 45 seconds. 45 seconds and counting now at the Kennedy Space Center as Columbia is prepared with its five member crew to begin a long and a very busy time in space. The first uh, major milestone will be tomorrow when they launch a communication satellite. Let's go for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10. 9. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia. A new Mission decade of space Houston flight Columbia begins. Descending from the tower, hand over to Houston complete. Roll program initiated. Roger roll, Columbia. Good roll confirmed as Columbia heads out on the uh, proper launch azimuth for the race to catch LDEP. Good roll confirmed. Now throttling down through 102% for the passage through maximum dynamic pressure. They'll take the engines down to 65%. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Three engines now at 65%. Downrange two nautical miles. Throttling back up, three at 104. Columbia, go with throttle up. Roger, Houston, go with throttle up. Relative velocity, 2,100 feet per second, downrange, seven nautical miles. Now 12 nautical miles downrange, velocity 3,200 feet per second. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. 15 nautical miles downrange now. Standing by for SRB staging. SRB separation confirmed. 
And that is the moment that everyone waits for, the solid rocket boosters uh, about two minutes after liftoff as they separated. An unbelievable shot of the solid rocket separating no, from 4, Columbia. Extremely close-up shot, uh, performance nearly 40 down. miles away from the Kennedy Space Center where it left. Beginning a 10-day mission and uh, the long-duration exposure facility. It is a race now that will uh, be ending on Friday as though they catch up with the long-duration exposure facility and uh, match up with it and try to snare it with the robot arm, bring it back. But first, uh, tomorrow, they will be launching a Navy SINCOM communications satellite. They're traveling at about 4,900 feet per second right now, and uh, some of these pictures on this mission uh, are some of the closest we have seen of the shuttle at uh, the solid rocket boosters. They had uh, 58 minutes to do it today, but they did it on the first minute. They did it right on time at 7.35 exactly uh, as they uh, had no real holds in the count. The weather cooperated, the hardware cooperated, and the five-member crew of Columbia is on its way to space. Columbia, All systems uh, miles, going well. They're uh, about 80 miles now downrange, and uh, it appears that uh, everything uh, went just fine after uh, being delayed uh, five Ascending times uh, before they were able to now, get this uh, mission off successfully. So range. it begins the first of the decade as the shuttle is uh, on its way now toward orbit. Let's take a quick look now as the shuttle as it left the pads. 10, nine. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia. A new Mission decade of space flight begins. Descending from the tower, hand over to Houston complete. Roll program. So about four minutes ago, Columbia left the pad. It's on its way to space. We, of course, will continue to bring you updates throughout this 10-day mission. Good morning, afternoon, Welcome evening, and overnight. Business day the, uh, continues after these messages. I'm Tom Interior. Race to catch LDAP.